हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री हाई फाई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम सरिता योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर टूडे वी विल स्टडी ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री रिएजेंट अनब्रोमो सक्सनेमाइड हुज स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला इज रिटन हेयर एंड इट्स आई पी सी नॉमन क्लेचर इज वन प्रोमो टू फाइव pyrrolidine dione anbromosuccinamide is a convenient source of bromine for both radical substitution and electrophilic addition reactions radical substitution with anbromosuccinamide generally occurs in non polar solvent while electrophilic addition occurs in polar solvents now we will study about the Preparation of unbromosuccinamide. Unbromosuccinamide can be prepared by gradually adding bromine to succinamide in presence of some alkali like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Then there is a formation of unbromosuccinamide. Now we will study. What are the physical properties of unbromosuccinamide? Unbromosuccinamide is a white solid soluble in carbon tetrachloride and insoluble in water. Its melting point ranges from 175 to 178 degrees Celsius and its boiling point is 339 degrees Celsius. now what are the chemical properties or applications of unbromosuccinamides unbromosuccinamide can act as brominating agent unbromosuccinamide reagent brominate specifically at allylic and benzylic positions of alkene or benzyl compounds here in the first reaction we have taken cyclohexene cyclohexene when react with unbromosuccinamide there is a formation of allyl bromoderivatives here in this compound there is two allyl positions both are equivalent in the second reaction it is a benzyl compound here also bromination take place at benzyl position now we will study why bromination with unbromosuccinamide generally occurs at allylic and benzylic positions it will be studied with the help of mechanism that is written here in mechanism there are four steps in first step there is a homolytic bond cleavage between nitrogen and bromine and formation of bromide radicals bromide radical formed in step first react with allyl system and formation of a new radical called allylic radicals this allylic radical is more stable due to resonance because this double bond can move here and in another resonating structure this radical can go here in the third step the unreacted unbromosuccinamide further abstract a hydrogen from hydrogen bromide and there is a formation of bromine actually this bromine takes part in bromination in step 4 bromine formed in step 3 reacts with the radical formed in step 2 and the compound is bromo derivative of allyl system or bro allylic bromination now we can say that the bromination with unbromosuccinamide generally occurs at 
allylic and benzylic positions because allylic and benzylic both radicals are highly stable due to resonance now if in a compound there is possibility of two allylic hydrogens then the more substituted carbon will be brominated with the help of unbromosuccinamide here these two are allylic carbons but this methylene carbon is more substituted than methyl carbon that's why bromination of this take place now i one another reaction is in which butene in which butene reacts with unbromosuccinamide and there is a formation of two product one is 3 bromo butene and other is 1 bromo 2 butene the first compound formed due to normal reaction of unbromosuccinamide with butene that is allyl bromination but second compound is also formed due to rearrangement here allylic rearrangement take place because this is a highly stable alkene according to sechef rule now another reaction is alpha bromination of carbonyl derivatives carbonyl derivative for example ketone if have alpha hydrogens or we can say enolizable hydrogens can be brominated with the help of unbromosuccinamide here in this cyclohexanone there are enolizable hydrogens and which can be replaced which can be substituted with bromine with the help of unbromosuccinamide and there is a formation of alpha halo ketone alpha bromo ketone another reaction of unbromosuccinamide in which substitution take place is allylic bromination of unsaturated acid ester aldehyde ketones unsaturated acid aldehyde ester ketones can be brominated same at allylic positions because in this in these compounds also allyl radicals formed and more stable allyl radicals more stable allyl radicals is formed here this is a compound which react with unbromosuccinamide there is a substitution of hydrogen with bromine at allylic positions or we can say it is an example of allylic bromination the other important reaction of unbromosuccinamide is addition reactions first formation of dibromo compounds dibromo compounds means just addition of bromine to double bond we know that unbromosuccinamide if used in polar solvent acts as a source of electrophilic bromine here we have taken example of cyclohexene which react with unbromosuccinamide in presence of a polar solvent like tetraalkyl ammonium bromide and formation of dibromocyclohexane 1 to dibromocyclohexane this reactions proceeds through bromonium cation as an intermediate next formation of bromohydrins bromohydrins can be formed with unbromosuccinamide if a cyclohexane molecules react with unbromosuccinamide in excess of water then there is a formation of this bromohydrins but this is a very important reaction for the formation of epoxides the bromohydrin formed here further react with 
hydride donor then there is a formation of epoxides mechanism of this reaction is that lone pair of oxygen attacks at this position and bromine leaves with negative charge another important reaction of unbromosuccinamide is oxidation reactions first oxidation of alcohols primary alcohols oxidize to aldehyde and secondary alcohols oxidize to ketone with unbromosuccinamide for example we have taken here isopropyl alcohol which convert into acetone with unbromosuccinamide Another example of oxidation reactions of unbromosuccinamide is degradative oxidation of hydroxy carboxylic acid that is alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid we have taken here a alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid which react with unbromosuccinamide in presence of water then there is a formation of aldehyde with a loss of one carbon atom we can say that the carbonyl compound that is aldehyde or ketone formed from the alpha hydroxy acid depends on the nature of acid taken and have one carbon less than the the precursor or alpha hydroxy acid the last important reaction of amino acid is alpha amino carboxylic acid or amino acids react with unbromosuccinamide in the same way as alpha hydroxy acids react